In this video, we're going to look at how to delete the last node in a linked list. And the first thing that we're going to do is create a linked list, and it is going to store the type string, and we're going to call our linked list list. Notice that our list is empty, therefore head, current, and previous are all equal to or assigned to null. And so we're going to try to make a call on an empty list and see what happens. We say list.delete last, and we'll see how the code handles that. It is going to say if head is not equal to null. Well, head is equal to null, therefore it's an empty list, so the method is going to stop right there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add the code to add three nodes. We've shown you how to do that in previous videos, so I just added a comment there to say, hey, we're adding nodes. And notice that we have a three node link list with the head starting right here. So what we're going to do first is try to remove the last node from this linked list. We call the method delete last and we enter the code. Head is not null because head is the first node in this list. So now head and current are referencing the first node and current was moved from null to the first node. Now we're going to see if we enter the loop. While current.getNext is not equal to null, it is not equal to null because it is equal to this node right here, the banana node. And then we say previous equals current. So now all three of these are referencing the first node. And then we're going to move current to the next node, which is current equals current.getNext. This was current, so current.getNext was this memory reference to the banana node, the whole node, and so current becomes the banana node. Next, we're going to check if we stay in the while loop, and as long as current.getNext is not equal to null, it is not equal to null, so we will continue on with the code. Previous moves from right here to over here. So current and previous reference the same node. And now current is going to reference the next node or null, but because this is referencing a node, it will reference the cherry node. And it does exactly that. So now we're going to check the loop to see if we run again. Is current not equal to null? Well, current is equal to null. And it's not current the node, it's current.getNext. So is this value equal to null? And yes, it is equal to null. So the loop will stop. So then let's see what happens. We call previous.setNext. So this is the previous node. Set next is this value right here. And we set it to null. And that, in effect, removes this last node from the linked list. So the linked list only has these two nodes in it. And cherry is removed. Let's try this one more time. We call the method delete last on the list one last time. And we say, is head null? No, it's not. It's equal to this one right here. So current is now equal to head. Head and current reference the first one right here. The last node, you will notice, goes away. And the reason is, is because when an object is no longer referenced in Java, garbage collection comes and deletes it from memory. So that last node is officially deleted. Now we're going to check the loop to see if we continue on. While current, this is current, dot get next, this is the next value, equal to null. It is not equal to null. It is equal to the banana node reference. So previous moves from here, and now head current and previous are all the same, pointing to the first node in the list. Then we're going to take current, and it is going to reference this second node right here. And we get that from current.getNext, which is a reference to this node. All right, we're going to check the condition again. While current.getNext, banana is the current node, getNext is this value right here. It is equal to null, so this condition is false. So then we move out of the loop and we do this, which says previous.setNext null. So this value is no longer a memory reference to this node. It is null, and so these are no longer connected. And if you start the list, it's going to be looking for head. Head is the only node in the list, which is Apple, and this node has been effectively removed. When we remove or delete a node from the list, you can handle it by doing a void method and simply removing the node. But in some cases, programmers choose to return the value that is being removed. And so what we do is we change this void into list node and make it into a return method, saying we're going to return the list node that's being removed. 
and so current is going to represent the value that is being removed so after the reference to the current node is removed we return that node and if head is equal to null meaning the list is empty we simply return null this video showed you how to take the last node in a linked list and remove it it showed you what happens if the list is empty and how to handle that. And it also used all of our values, previous, current, and head.